Like, I'm actually so pumped up, dude. Are you kidding me? Let's read these patch notes and go from here. Let's see. Because I know there's a lot of controversial things in these patch notes that people are not liking. All right, new launch mode, launch royale, or new mode, launch royale. Step back in the experience that started it all. Well, I'm going to zoom in a little bit because my eyes hurt. <clears throat> That started it all. Launch Royale, this new LTM, drops players into the original Apex Legends circa 2009. Which, I want to be real. It's going to be a lot of... You, you guys might want to play this, but there's going to be a lot of things that piss you off. Tons of things that you forgot about that were so broken. That's going to make you mad. It's the old school weapons, legends, abilities, rules set, and the map that started it all. That means no evil armor. <laughs> Or ability upgrades. Just pure skill and your wits to survive the Apex games. I don't really like how they said that. Is we're going what does that mean? This is OG Apex is the pure skill? Is that a self-report? <laughs> that's wait, that's a little bit of a self-report by Apex. Drop back into when the game was just pure skill and now it's just not. Good luck. If you're craving that old school Apex vibe or just want to see how it all started, this is the best time to jump in and see where legends were born. Conquer launch royale challenges to unlock, <laughs> that's such a summer board. Unlock legends and earn rewards like Apex packs and more. Ready up because we're going back to experience that first drop once again. Lifeline revived. Okay, here we go. Really liked it in the trailer so far. The original medic is now a frontline menace. Thank you. That is such a nice first sentence to read. Lifeline dives into action with an aggressive new kit, the ability to teleport and dock to your allies. Glide for unmatched mobility and deploy an indestructible force field that amps up healing efficiency for your squad. She's not just saving lives, she's fighting her way to the champion's podium. Todd, these are nine months, bro. Oh my gosh, it's insane. The character that was described as a combat medic for the last 23 seasons is finally a combat medic. Wowee, unbelievable, dude. Who would have thought, brother? Hold jump midair to use the dock to briefly glide. Deploy dock to revive teammates, leaving lifeline free to defend. Combat glide. I'm curious to see how all you lifeline mains utilize this. I don't really know how much, like, I, 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 on paper, I render that slightly useless. Maybe for like a late game, jumping off a height and just staying in the air while everyone fights down below you and then you drop down and res your teammates will be efficient. It's one of the only ways I really see it. But I'm glad that she has two passives and it's not just one, which is the deploy dock to revive teammates. That's good. Like genuinely, that's that's definitely a W overall. I just, I'm curious to see what the actual glide midair looks like in the grand scheme of actually playing the game. I'm gonna wipe my nose one second, one second. Sorry, I'm a little sick. Give me two seconds. Your boy's a little sicky. You've been cold, man. You've been fighting this cold for like four days now. All right, tactical dock heal drone. Dock heals nearby allies. Dock can be assigned to follow allies once, once deployed. Finally. Finally. I don't even need to explain that one at all. Throw dock to activate the halo shield system. All players inside use health and shield consumables faster. Okay. That's what we saw in the trailer there. Maddie, these 17 months for Mr. Sub, I apologize. Bad pack, fire name. <laughs> Plus one battery per stack. See battery count and death boxes. Who cares? The plus one battery, though. That's pretty. That's, that's actually pretty good. From the Rift Level 3, Enhanced Radio, Increased Dock Assignment Range by 50%, Reduce Tack Cooldown by 10 seconds. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Oh, yeah, brother. Wow. Wait, I think Lifeline's really going to be good. Genuinely. This is it's pretty insane. She's getting two passives. She's getting what I think is going to be one of the most useful combat pit combat kits maybe not in comp entirely but i think for sure in ranked i don't really see a reason as to why i'd pick a harder character newcastle over lifeline now if that makes sense i get to take more batteries which i feel like is more important ranked than reses i can heal my teammates and be more useful during these fights more than just putting walls down etc which i think is still good but i think I think right now, I would say Lifeline in Ranked is going to be better than Newcastle, but I, I still would take the Newcastle kid over Comp. 
Uh, rift relics. Rift relics come from the unstable rift in the sky, creating a temporary terror in reality that provides the contestants of the Apex Games with powerful weapons and a new survival slot item. Boost kits that may give you a boost of what you need. You can say they're uh, aptly, aptly named. Grab the EPG launcher with splash damage and rocket jumping capabilities. So oh, fire. Straight Halo vibes. Unleash exotic hop-ups like, like lifesteal. Healing with every hit and instantly refilling health and armor on headshots. Wait a minute. So they're exploring exotic hop-ups. And one of them is lifesteal. We know how that goes. Usually when things like this are implemented into Apex, it's because they're thinking about putting it one on a character or two in the game in general. Very interesting. So a lifesteal hop up is in the mix. I like that. I'm excited to see what they do with that later in the future. Rift relics will appear randomly throughout each match across many rounds. They will be easy for you and your enemies to spot, and they'll also inform you if an enemy team has gotten there first. Destroy the Rift Relic to receive your award, but be warned the ring messes with their stability. Got it. Okay. New support class perks. Please be a buff. Please be a buff. Please be a buff. Please be a buff. I'm so down. I don't give a f***. I don't care. Last season, we gave the Recon and Control Classes unique gameplay perks to define their areas of expertise in the game. This season will be the season of support. Oh... Alongside Lifelines Revival, the support class getting a specialization of their own through two new perks, Heal Expert and Revive Expert, empowering their reset and recovery role on the team and continue our efforts to bring more meaning and identity to the classes in Apex. Support Legends will still maintain access to extended supply bins. However, in the spirit of support, Banner Crafting is no longer an exclusive class perk and instead will be accessible to all Legends. What? I just got baited. I just got baited. Okay, fine, whatever, that's fine. That doesn't sound like a buff to me. Okay, cool. Heal Expert, support legends, now move at full walk speed while healing. Okay, more of a selfish thing than a team thing, for sure. Healing amount from small meds is doubled. Huh? <laughs> what? Wait, that's, that's, that's bananas. Like, not to sound my age, but that's bananas. I'm getting 50 off a shield cell? Brother, are we for real? Huh? Revive expert. Support legends have 25 faster, 25% faster revives. Revives? Revives. For the revives. And grant health regen to their ally on a successful revival. So that is no long. What about the characters that have the perks that you could choose? Wait. So what about the characters that you could choose to have the 50, 50 health come back when you start reviving? Support Legends will also receive this health regen if revived. Holy. This health regen will restore an ally to full health, but can be canceled by incoming damage. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god. Additionally, banner crafting and ally death boxes now spawn in mobile respawn beacon. Support Legends can see the mobile respawn beacons inside death boxes. What? That is crazy. What? Brother. Oh my God. So if you're playing a support character, there's a chance that if you're the last one alive, you don't even need to pick up mobile respawns anymore. What the f bro? Collecting banners will automatically table, take a mobile respawn beacon in an ally death box if possible. Oh my goodness. Wait, they are, they, this is definitely the support season. No questions asked. This is definitely the support season. I can, this is going to sound crazy. Triple support squads? You, you know what I mean? Like, wait a minute. Or at least double? Give me like a Newcastle lifeline Valk? A Newcastle Jimmy Valk? A Conduit Lifeline Valk? Somehow to get to spawn, but then play for the end games? So, I mean, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of potential right now with these, re, with these uh, support buffs, for sure. Even Loba may be in the mix, potentially. Maybe. Oh, God, the whole time I'm going to think about how dog Octane is, bro. <laughs> oh, God, dude. You tell me Lifeline could do that, and then Octane hurts himself for HP when using an ability, and then just gets one hit by a Mastiff after two stims? Oh, 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 bro. Oh, thank God I like Gibraltar just as much as I like Octane. Me. Oh, that's insane. All right. Into the Rift, bring nostalgia. 
but we're also bringing something new, skill display movements, improvements. This new feature will display the balancing of each match and update live as each player loads into the match, giving you a true rank distribution of all players. This is either going to go exceptionally well for them or exceptionally bad, showing how dog their matchmaking is. W feature, but I think this might be used against them in the long haul. Like, actually, this is a really cool thing to see, but I think this is going to be used against them big time for sure. No, no questions asked. I, I have faith. You're right. But I definitely think this is going to show how bad their matchmaking is. No questions asked. So we'll see. But that's a W feature regardless to know what the hell is going to be happening in your game before you even play it. Um, but I, I think this might also be a self-report. We'll see. New Universal Melee Raptor's Claw. Sharpen your arsenal with Raptor's Claw. A new Universal Melee Cosmetic. Unlock the, unlock the Raptor's Claw through the Void Mercenary Store. Blah, 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 blah. I don't really care about the, 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 the actual shit about it. I just want to see what it looks like. And I can't lie. That thing looking kind of fire. That, that's kind of sick. It's going to be expensive. And the price is still going to be arguably insane. But I do like the look of that a lot. I'm not going to lie. I ain't going to sit here and lie. I ain't going to sit here and probably, I might, I probably won't buy it, but I think it's going to be really fun to watch like what moving players do with the inspects as they're playing with this. <laughs> Yo, I got you, Briggs. No worries. Yeah, that's, I think it's fire for sure. Definitely better than the last two universal ones. No questions asked. Looks like a Happy Meal toy. Y'all are trolling. That's just not true. Like y'all, y'all could hate the price for sure. I also hate how, th how expensive things are, but that does not look bad. You're capping. That's just, that's just cap. For sure. That looks sick. Uh, battle sense. Better health. Okay, balance updates. Battle sense. Better health, state, awareness, and feedback. Added voice lines for when players are low on health. Added voice lines for when players are low on shields. Added prompt to heal when players are low on health. Healing HUD icon will now flash when players are on low health. Okay, sure. Better ammo awareness and feedback. Added voice lines for when players are running low on ammo, whatever. That's just helping like helping out new players, which I'm about more than anything else. We have a lack of new players coming into the game and a lack of uh, a lack of players who play the game first time staying to actually keep playing because the game is awful for new players. So that's pretty much helping those guys out more than anything else, which is cool. I'm fine with that. Care package. Devotion returns to the floor. Spin up time decreased. If this is a whole devotion buff, I'll show you everywhere. Reverse hip fire tightens slower and is less accurate. Okay. And removed turbocharger slot. W. That's fine with me. That's really cool. I'm cool with that. All right. So Devo goes out and the havoc goes in. It's about time. Keep that shit in there, man. Improved hip fire. Magazine size increased to 36. Damage increased to 19. Select fire. High ammo consumption. Deadly accurate. Dev, de deadly accurate. Devastating damage. Wait a minute. I'm about that. Wait, I am so about that. Okay, fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. I also am tired of the Havoc anyway. Um, I'm cool with it going in the care pack. I, I, I was kind of hoping if there's like a, a, a Nemesis nerf or something as well. A little bit more balance on those guns, but it's fine. Gold weapon rotation. Car, Hemlock, L-Star, Longbow, Mastiff. Ooh, Longbow, nice. Let's see if they do that, though. Gameplay updates, crafting stations. All legends can now craft banner cards. Insane. Loop in reset. If a player is a near is near a bin during the reset phase, loop in will now eject loot. Even if that bin was not open recently. Oh okay. they're definitely catering more towards new players. And just making things a little bit easier and less frustrating. I kind of also like that in general too. Gold bins now spawn fewer pieces of gold loot. Okay. Oh fine. Mythic bin updates can now be tracked and pinged through walls more easily. Improve logic to consider the weapon. If the weapon you have is already a gold weapon, it instead grants a different upgrade. Whoa. All right. So more so smart loot on the mythic bins. Location is now announced before spawning is marked in the mini in full maps and a warning is issued in game. Time to open reduced to 10 seconds was 11. A full seconds does make a difference. Sometimes that is the difference between life and death. Updated mythic bin icons for clarity and consistency. Cool. Ammo and attachments, hop-ups, boosted loader, now activates at zero animal, ammo, now goes on the sentinel. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Senti buff? Senti buff? Gun shield generator. Shield recharge cooldown time decreased to 10 seconds was 12. Reduce spawn rate, sure. Hammer point rounds, reduce spawn rate, W. Yeah, get him out of here. Weapons, L-Star. Damage increased to 18 was 17. Fire. Cold magazines now reduce the cool-off time more than purple mags. Low-key, actually pretty sick. And smoothed out cool-off animations. W, we'll take that, Lombo. Aww.
Oh, 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 oh. Tears, guys. Tears. Damage increased to 60. Oh my god. We're three tapping, baby. We're three tapping. That's oh my god. We're three tapping with blue armor all day today. That's all we're gonna be doing. Oh my god. Lomba hasn't fully hasn't been fulfilling the fantasy of a sniper lately. Real dev. Someone literally give this guy a god increase in salary immediately. Give him a raise. So we're taking a big swing at his damage. Keep swinging. Swing for, literally swing. Just keep on to really push. I'm so excited. I can't even speak. We'll continue to monitor his chains. Chill. Don't do that. Just let it rock. P20, Akimba only. Based hip fire improved. Okay. Sure, why not? That's fine. Um, Rampage, L LMG, Rev State, increased decay rate, reduced cost per shot, significantly increased energized capacity, successfully charging up the Rampage with a Thermite will also trigger a reload. Can I be honest? I really could give a f about that gun. I'm not reading any further. I'm not dissecting it anymore. Sentinel. Oh, God. I'm gonna freak out. Charging up the Sentinel with boosted loader equipped will overload the next mag as though it were a bo boosted reload. Whoa. Okay. Increased energized capacity. Increased energized total time. Successfully charging up with a sentinel with a shield cell will also trigger a reload. We're getting more shots charged up. That is fire, bro. That is so fire. Oh my goodness. Monsoon and Desiful actually might wake up and just hit the gritty all day today. Holy. Monsoon, Max Strafey, Mandy. Oh my God. Design, bro. And oh God, that's so, that's so hot. That's so sexy. That, that turned me on a little bit. All right. Spitfire LMG. Damage increased to 19 was 18. Sure. That's fine. Peacekeeper. Choke speed increased. Why not? Triple take. Choke speed increased. Fire rate slightly increased. That might be, that might be a slight, that would be a slight, really, I, 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 I'm going to word this properly. That might be a buff that is really, really strong that no one's really going to recognize until, like, until maybe a couple, like, a weekend. That's going to be something that no one really uses, but it's going to be gross, for sure. I think, I, that's, that's really, that's, that, I wonder how, how increased we talking. You can make it, you can literally tighten it faster for more damage. I get the fire rate slightly increased as well. That's insane. <clears throat> Holy shit. All right. I, I think that's going to be one of the biggest silent buffs of the whole thing, for sure. One of the biggest. No questions asked. All right. Support legends. New class perks. Heal expert. Move at full speed while healing. Small med healing is doubled. Okay. Move at full speed while healing. Small med healing is doubled. That's valid. Okay. We, we talked about this already. Revive expert. Revive speed increased and revives grant health regen. We talked about this already. Mobile response will spawn when crafting banners and inside to ally, ally death boxes. Yeah, we already talked about that. It's fine. And here we go. Character changes. Conduit. Save your speed. That, by the way, that, yeah, that's like the small med thing is gigantic for any off spawn fights, etc. That's, that's huge. That's genuinely a gigantic thing. That, I can't believe I just read that. Giving gold armor to those characters that are like, healing experts is pretty mind-blowing i'm a huge fan i'm not against it i just can't believe that uh conduit save your speed now works on ally death boxes and crafters when a banner can be retrieved now works on respawn beacons and mobile respawn beacons when carrying an ally banner now works without min range limit on downed allies allowing conduit to race all the way to her fallen teammate okay so they're pretty much just making her get to things quicker which i don't really mind I don't know how much of a factor that will really play. I think it's a decent change. I just don't really know if that passive is really the thing they should be focusing on with Conduit to make her better, but that's cool. I'm fine with that. That's fine. It's definitely nice, It, but I don't really know how out of the fight you usually are with Conduit anyway, but cool. Uh, crypto. Survival Drone now takes ring damage. Oh, that, dude, that is, that is gigantic nerf. Like, genuinely a gigantic nerf. Think about all the rats that we see in competitive Apex with their drone inside the zone so no one can find them when they're invisible. That is huge. That is genuinely huge. I like that a lot. Big fan. Big fan of that change. Um, upgrades off the grid. 
Players within 20 minutes of crypto will now be able to spot a faint cloaking flicker. Oh, GG's. Karen just chalked. Ever affect every 1.5 seconds to help identify hidden cryptos nearby. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cloaked audio range. I said 20 minutes. Oh, my bad. About 20 meters. My fault. Cloaked audio range and volume have been increased. Sure. That's that care just chalked Ola. Game over. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs> Gibraltar. Here we go. This is the shit that I actually give a fuck about. Cooldown reduced to set. Dome of protection cooldown is 17 seconds. <laughs> Yo! What? Yo! What? No longer destroyed by Crypto's EMP or Maggie's Wrecking Ball. Insane. Hell yeah. Insane, Insane. dude. Holy I mean, yeah, I'll see you later, Crypto. You're literally never being played in the next five years. Oh my god. That is insane. That is actually an insane buff. Almost half the cooldown reduced? That is unreal. And they take away any counter for the bubble. Wow. I thought if they did this, the no longer destroyed by Crypto EMP or Mad Maggie Ball, that they were 100% going to add HP to the shield. Upgrades. Level, uh, level 2. Fresh start removed. Shots, shots, shots removed. New. Big Brudda. So much cooler than Fresh Start. Increase ult radius by 20%. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> New fast shotties. Move faster with shotguns and auto reload shotguns on Nox. We are back. We are back to all you Horizon mains. Literally lick my balls, dude. Yo. Oh my God. It's support player season. Oh my goodness, no shade, no shade, just a joke. It's, it's all in-game, in-game, it's all a joke, in-game. Oh my goodness, brother. I love this, bro. Oh my God. It is support, I'm down chill. Oh, that was not an offer, that was a joke. Upgrades, baby bubble, now reduced cooldown to 12 seconds was 25. 12 second bubbles. Oh my goodness. Wow. Holy f Brother, they they took that whole it looks like they just took that whole support class and were like, what can we do? And they did it. And they did every positive thing they talked about in that meeting. Every buff they thought about in that meeting, they went through with. I'm I mean, I'm cool with that, bro. Without a doubt, I'm so cool with that. That's insane. That's that's actually insane. Okay. Horizon upgrades. Battery collection removed. Yeah, shit was backpack. In addition to extra battery per stack, this also shows battery counts in death box. I'm 27, by the way. Mirage. Life of the party. Health bars no longer show during ultimate to give away the real Mirage. They're doing it. They're doing the thing right now. They're, they're doing it. Mirage means stand up. Y'all are still going to get on all the time, and none of us are going to want to play with you. But stand the up, guys, because you finally got something, man. Congratulations. Let's go, dude. None of us are going to want to hang out with you still, or you know what I'm saying? But like, Go. You still will not get invites, but that's fire. At least you got something for yourself, dude. Wow, that's that's a lot of Newcastle. That's what I saw on Twitter. I saw Newcastle got buffed. So, once I did blow my nose again, I see. I saw Newcastle got buffed, but I gotta read it over. One second. I didn't see the specifics. So let's get into the uh, let's get into the deep and dirty of this Newcastle buff, huh? Let's do it, man. Mobile Shield. Yo, come on. <laughs> come on, man. What? Come on, man. That's it. <laughs> nah. That might be the only thing I need to read. <laughs> Can now be repositioned when he's down? What is this guy? Beethoven just orchestrating every single fight possible, even from the dead? Yo, that is crazy. That is insane. They're going to be this the whole time, dying, just now, literally orchestrating every fight. What the f Revive the wounded. Oh, dude, I think Vaxlon had to read this, bro, and, 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 and Papa Bonesky. He had to. There's just no way he didn't. Furia actually, J-Mo read that and just literally licked his lips. 
That's all he did. He literally just read that one and just literally closed his eyes. Oh my God. All right, revive the wounded. Revive shield HP slash tier increase by plus 50%. Okay, surely that's gotta be it, right? Upgrades level two. Thick shield removed. That's a great name. I didn't realize that was in the name. Heroes hustle. So much better than thick shield. Greatly increases move speed when reviving. Can we get details? As to what that means? What does greatly mean? Greatly sounds very drastic. That sounds very drastic. What the fuck is that? Is, bro, this is the exact... Like, I'm not saying... I'm not, like, laughing and excited because I'm saying this is good or bad. I truly don't know. I'm laughing because this is the exact opposite of what I thought was going to happen. Gen genuinely i thought i was gonna wake up today we were gonna have like maybe two to three changes in characters i thought newcastle was gonna get nerfed i thought without a doubt bro no questions asked like horizon was gonna get a crazy big buff i thought bloodhound was gonna get back in the mix holy shit, dude i am so happy i did not get any of this shit leaked this is crazy this is insane wow Okay, and Stronghold, Castle HP wall improvement increased to 500. Okay, got it, yeah, that was 500, 250, yeah. And Castle wall grants shield regen to ally. Wait, so did this get removed too? This got removed, right? Yeah, this, or no? Because this, oh, because this got removed, yeah? Thick shield was removed, so this is removed as well. That was ready, that was ready. Yeah, left side removed, okay. So Miracle Worker and Stronghold we know of, obviously. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so it's 500 and the ultimate savior. Okay, what does it say? Allies in impact range gain shield regen for 15 seconds. Oh my god! What? Brother! This dude, this guy should literally not be in Apex Legends. He should be right now being recruited to fight whatever the the Marvel Universe needs to fight in the next five years. Get him out of Apex and get him on the next Avengers squad. This guy might be able to 1v3 three Thanoses. He is too good for this game. What the f Bro, this guy should literally be fighting Thanos. He should be fighting celestial beings, not Octane or Mirage. This guy should be fighting Thanos. Holy f Patch out, lock in. Oh my god! Bro, that is, that is insane! Oh my god! Wow. And then Revenant just gets shield reaching up to 50 HP. Who gives a f And then Watson, fresh start move, gives access to support class revive expert perk. Who gives a f Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Newcastle and Gibraltar are about to literally twerk everywhere. Oh my gosh, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god, bro. I can't believe what I just read. Regardless of whether you think this is good or bad, this is, this is one of the craziest things I've seen in a very long time. Like, this is, this is insane. This is actually insane. I can't believe this is real. That uh, genuinely bro, blows my mind. Like, actually blows my mind. Mind, brother. I cannot believe I just read that correct. I, I can't believe I read that.